Hi friends, welcome back to Art Hour, Mrs. Paul. Today we'll be drawing a royal self-portrait. And so today you're going to be using observation to draw your face. And you're also going to be drawing some details from memory or imagination. So to make my self-portrait, my royal self-portrait, I'm gonna first draw my face by drawing a big U. And I want you to make it really big and fill all your space. Just like that. Now at the top here, I'm going to connect my U. So I'm gonna draw a curved line here. And then here at the top, this is where I'm gonna be drawing my crown. So I'm gonna need to have some space here at the top to make the crown. Now first I'm gonna draw the details on my face. So I'm gonna first draw my eyes and I'm gonna go down a little bit halfway and draw one football shape eye and draw another football shape. And then draw two circles, one, two, and another set of circles to make the pupil. Now I'm going to draw my eyelids, eyelashes, and then eyebrows. And you can make your eyebrows using little lines like this, or little shapes. Now I'm ready to create my nose. So to make my nose, I'm gonna make a U shape, just like I did the head. And then I'm gonna make two C shapes on the sides. Now some artists, when they make their nose, they connect the nose upward. And you can do that too if you'd like. Now I'm going to make my royal self-portrait have an emotion or an expression. So you can either make your self-portrait happy by drawing a smile. You can make yours content or like feeling okay. You can make yours sad. I'm gonna make mine happy and I'm gonna make the happy face by making a line and then do two bumps for the lips. Now I'm going to draw my ears and they're like two C shapes on the sides. Now I'm going to draw my hair, and the hair will be inside the head, and then outside as well. So before I do the outside hair, I'm going to draw my crown. So taking a look at all the pictures of the beautiful royal crowns, you get to pick which one you'd like. And I have this special one that I like, and it looks like it has T's on the top. So I'm gonna make that type of crown. So I'm gonna make my crown come outward, and you see how it looks like it has a T? It's a bump, bump, bump. Looks like T's, right? Bump, bump, bump. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get a little fix this over here. There we go. Now on my crown, you can draw details. I can do circle shapes. Lines, patterns, any type of line, shapes, or patterns you'd like to add. All right, now I'm ready to draw my neck. I'm gonna make a big, strong neck, make it really um, strong and hold my head up. And now you can connect your neck here, and you can also make a collar. I'm gonna make a fancy collar. Like I have a dress on. And then shoulders. And remember your shoulders are really strong and thick. They should extend past your head. They shouldn't come to your back here. They should go past the paper. All right, now that I have my crown, I have my bangs, or my short hair inside my head. I have all my facial details. I have my neck and my shoulders. Now I can complete the hair. So I'm gonna make my hair long, like it's behind my shoulders, wearing it behind, and I have sort of wavy hair, so I'm gonna make wavy lines. Now you can make your hair straight, you can make your hair curly, whatever you'd like. All right, so now I'll complete my royal self-portrait. Now I'm ready to add color. 
So the next time we meet, we will be adding color. So great job using lines, using shapes, using patterns, and then observation to draw your face and your details. Until next time.